virslīgs 23. kārtas spēle Daugavpils pret Rīga FC noslagusies ar rezultātu 0 pret 4 par labu Rīga FC. Pēc spēles komentārs ar Daugavpils galveno treneri Andreju Kaļiņinu. Treneri, jūs komentārs par spēlu. Paldies. Знаете, есть такое выражение, не стреляйте в пианиста, он играет как умеет. Ну, что один таз, биопилник пармумс, я не вру патать, как пуще не грибе, спеле сликты, коварем, коварем, то меги наем радит. Верс, никого не вру па коментет. Кас вы будут нелял в бэкс мегак нос палати шус бракума? Претенекс. Претенекс, он... Un mūsu tehnika, un viss. Šodien pretinieks bija, principā, daudz meisterīgāk nekā mēs. Jā, ir varbūt kāds spēlētājs, ko jūs varētu izcelt tieši no savas komandas? Nē, nevienu. Jūs šīs dienas spēlē aizvadījāt kā mainieki. Ir varbūt kaut kādi jaunumi stadionu sakarā? Varbūt ir, bet es neko par viņiem nezinu. Jautāju, jautāju, bet man pateica, ka pret metu spēlēsim, spēlēsim mājas, bet nu, skatīsimies. Septiņi zaudējiem pēc kārtas, kāds varbūt ir tas noskaņums ģertuvēs? Nu, atmosfēra, atmosfēra nav, nav laba, protams, ka tik daudz zaudējums, jā. Emocijas, sliktas emocijas, bet jāsavakties pirms spēles supernova un metā jāsavakties. Jūs uzskatiet, ka izvēlējāties pareizo vai vienpacinieku? Vai pret supernova būs kāds izmaiņas? Domāju, ka būs. Nu, zaudējam 0-4, protams, ka tas slikts rezultāts. Nu, grūti pateikt, tas ir mana kļūda vai, vai... principā šodien pretinieks bija mesterīgāk. Nu, es nedomāju, ka, ok, Afanasijas spēlētu šodien un būtu cits, cits rezultāts. Nu, es tā nedomāju. Pēc spēles komentārs ar Rīga FC galveno treneri Sandro Perkovic. Coach, your comment about the game? Congratulations to my players. Uh, very important three point for us. I think that we control the game. All 90 minutes, uh, we dominate the game, and uh, I, I am very happy. First of all, with uh, with uh, their energy, with their commitment. It wasn't easy after uh, we lost uh, three, four days ago in in Portugal, uh, but they showed that uh, they are not only excellent players, then also excellent persons. We we move on to our championship, and uh, their reaction today was fantastic. Yeah. Apsveic savus spēlētājs, svarīgi trīs punkti uzskat, ka kontrolējām spēlu visu 90 minūtes. Es apmierināts ar attieksmi, ko parādījām laukumā ar enerģiju. Un nebija viegli pēc zaudējiem Portugālē, bet spēlētāji pierādīja, ka viņi ir ne tikai lieliski spēlētāji, bet arī spēcīgas personības, un mēs virzāmies tā lai čempionātā. How hard is to motivate players after loss in Portugal? It's not hard to motivate players uh, because we are all professionals and this is what we are doing. Uh, it's uh, it was hard to, to how uh, this this uh, the thing uh, this game that we lost in Portugal hurt us a lot because uh, we know that we play good that we have some uh, situation to score a goal and instead that uh, this tie will be open until last minute. Uh, unfortunately, we sc we we received some goals what normally not happened. And this was the problem that uh, our thoughts are not anymore in Portugal than that we switch uh, to, to our championship. But to motivate uh, players, there is no problem. They are professionals and I can say that uh, they are motivated for every training, so. Is there any things uh, that can be upgraded? <laughs> of course, everything can be upgraded. This is. Uh, in football you can always be better but uh, from today game I really cannot ask for more we, we dominate all the game we, we create a lot of situations we score four goals uh, we didn't receive the goal and uh, if there was not this injury from Ramos I would say that it was a perfect day for us um, goalkeeper choice 
uh, last few games, uh, no sporting start uh, these games and uh, why change it today? We have three excellent goalkeepers uh, and our goalkeepers coach is uh, working very, very hard and very good with them. I am very happy and satisfied with all three of them. Unfortunately, there is a place only, only for one. Uh, when I came here in Riga, uh, uh, Robbie Ozols was injured. He is now completely back. Uh, Nils makes some great, uh, great games. A uh, lot of, lot of games he didn't concede a goal. Uh, I just want to have clear picture about all three of them. And uh, today, Robbie, Robbie get a chance. He was excellent. Uh, we will see what will what will happen in the future. You are now in the second place, and uh, how realistic is to fight about the first one? <laughs> yes, we are at the second place. This is something that make us make us um, really happy. Uh, to be honest, I don't think about uh, fighting for first place or second or these kind of things uh, doesn't interest me. For me, imp important is tomorrow morning we, we will have training session and that our players uh, working hard from tomorrow morning. Uh, that, in, that in every training session we are better, better and better and then we will see when the uh, championship ends uh, what we get. For what will this be enough, uh, we will see after the championship.